Hey, Chris Gamble here. I am the operations director at Larger Story, for those of you that don't know me. And I just wanted to share a short testimony with you from last month. I got the opportunity to join my church's high school winter retreat and lead a breakout session for 65 students and 15 20 something year old leaders. And I was asked to share on something having to do with spiritual relating, which is something Lay Crab, as many of you know, wrote a lot about. And so what came to me was sharing on the idea of the red dot. Larry used an analogy to say, if you're at a mall and you come up to the kiosk and you're trying to figure out how to go to Macy's or whatnot, there's generally a spot on there that was at the time a red dot that said, you are here. And in essence, you need to know where you are to know how to get to where you're trying to go. And so Larry used that analogy and would pose the question, so what's your red dot? As a means for initiating conversation around where are you emotionally, physically, spiritually, relationally right now or in this season. So the testimony is that I share about the red dot. We had a little video that the Larger Story team has recorded as a part of a course articulating the red dot, which I'll share a little bit about later in this video, and then gave these guys a worksheet to fill out that helped them put language around the red dot. And by God's grace, students came up to me sharing about how it brought them to tears, how this was so helpful. Leaders came up to me saying, one of them said, I learned more about my student in the five minutes that I chatted with them after the breakout than the whole weekend. And it really was an impactful tool and time. And as you know, high schoolers do have a hard time being able to articulate what's going on inside of them. Well, it's not only high schoolers. If you've ever been involved in a church small group or your, a relationship and you've asked somebody or somebody's asked you, how are you doing? Where are you at? And they respond Oh, I'm good. I'm fine. That's not very helpful for getting to really understand what's going on with them and meet them there and join them in that place in in their journey and in their story. It's kind of like if you were going to go on a hike and right at the start of the hike, you decided, you know what? I want my best friend to join me. So you call him up or maybe you're hip and you send them a Snapchat and they get back with you and said, I'd love to join you. Where are you? And you respond, I'm in America. That level of information is not very helpful for allowing them to find you and join up with you on your journey. Or similarly, let's say you had been hiking and you sprain your ankle. You can't walk and get back to your car. And so you've got to call up your friend and tell them what happened. And they say, I'm on my way. Where are you? And you say, I'm on planet Earth. Or even, I'm in the Appalachian Mountains. There's no way that person can find you, meet you, and help you in this vulnerable place in your hike journey. And so... Something I've come to realize, there are three factors that enable this kind of sharing. One's vulnerability. Scary word. What does it mean? How do you do it? It's predicated on trust, trust in the relationship. The second thing is the self-awareness, the ability to slow your mind down, look inside, and tune into your own soul and see what's going on in there. And then finally, it requires the language once you've tuned in to those feelings and sensations 
to put them into words and articulate what is going on. And so often people don't share or neglect to share where they are or undershare where they are for a lack of trust, though trust is important and there are situations where trust isn't there. But many times people don't share where they are because they, one, don't have the tools to look inside and tune into their own soul, and two, nobody's equipped with them with the vocabulary to then articulate what what's going on inside. And so if that's you, just like a little encouragement, you're not alone, and maybe it's because nobody's taught us or given us the tools to be able to articulate where we are. And so with that, we've created some tools and resources to help equip you in whether you are seasoned in articulating where you're at in your spiritual journey or just beginning. We've got a little worksheet that I mentioned before that you can download in the link below that is pretty quick to fill out, but only requires circling what resonates most true with you. And then at the end, there's a little section about where are you trying to head in this season of your life. It's a great tool for anybody just wanting to kind of check in and put language on where you're trying to go in addition to where you are. Second, Larger Story has launched something this year, 2023, called the Reading and Relating Book Club. It's a virtual group that meets once a month that is really a place to practice some of what we just talked about, about articulating your red dot, particularly by going through Larry Crabb book and applying the concepts in a small group setting that's safe, that has a facilitator to be able to moderate the conversations. So if you haven't signed up already, consider signing up for the free reading and relating book club. And then lastly, something I alluded to is we've got a series of courses courses we're launching. The first is called Experience a Grand Adventure. And this is a, a series of videos plus group and individual discussion questions and reflection questions that are gone through by yourself in some context and with the group on a week by week basis that offer you skills to have these introductory spiritually forming conversations. Thanks for tuning in to this testimony and update from Larger Story. We hope to see you soon.